At 7.30, we had NC State, who went 8-5 last year, traveling to UConn, who went 6-7. and seven. U- NC State, 3 by 15 on CBS Sports Network. Devin Leary for NC State went 118, uh, 193 for 1,265 yards, 11 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. Jordan Houston on the ground had 136 carries for 544 yards. Thayer Thomas had 57 catches for 642 yards and 4 touchdowns. Zion Turner for UConn went 149 to 258, threw for 1,407 yards, 9 touchdowns to 10 interceptions. Obviously not a good ratio there. Victor Rosa had 140 carries for 636 yards and 11 touchdowns. And Aaron Turner had 57 catches for 527 yards and 3 touchdowns. NC State 3-0 and against UConn all-time, ranging from 0-3 to 2022. Two of the last three have been one-possession games, though. I think what's really interesting here, right, is NC State without Devin Leary. Devin Leary has been their quarterback for a hot second, and he was considered a possible first-round pick before he got injured last year, and he transferred to Kentucky, right? So what I think is going to be really, really interesting to look at here is how the Wolfpack bounce back from that, right? Like, this is good. Dave Doran has built a consistent contender in NC State, and the Wolfpack, they're always good, right? They haven't finished below six uh, six wins in a long time, right? Like, this is a great NC State program. This is a, <laughs> this is a really good NC State program. And the fact that they're only fair by U- over UConn, a program, while well, it definitely got better last year, six wins is a big improvement for UConn. This is still ain't not a good UConn team. This is still not a Huskies team that is going to be competing for anything anytime soon. This is an NC State team that, while they did lose Devin Leary, they they lost Ryan Finley and they got Devin Leary. And they're like it's, I don't think it's going to be that huge of a drop-off going to Finley's younger brother. So it's going to be really, really interesting to look at. I think NC State's a really good team. I think UConn's really not. I think NC State's going to get a statement win here. I think they're going to blow out UConn, giving NC State to win and cover this game.